while that is wet, my little trusty pen knife, I can go in just like this with my pen knife and get a really wonderful bark-like effect. And I can do as much or as little of it as I want. Where the limb's growing out of the tree, I tend to stay away from that because you don't want the limb to look glued on. You want it to look integrated onto your tree. And I'm just doing a little, what I call a scumbling. And I scumble sometimes with my brush or sometimes with tools. Just getting a little bit of texture. And you can see where it's wet, it doesn't show up very much, but where it's starting to get dry down here, you can see it show up quite a bit. So I get some lights and I get some dark. And it's all I'm actually just doing is getting the look of a tree. As it dries, then I go in with more. Trees look very rough and textured and very layered, so I don't think you can overdo them. I think you can have a lot of fun with creating the look of a tree or a limb. Now this is called scumbling. It's a little bit of a dry brush. Just sort of texturizing my tree. That was a little darker than I hoped it would be. So let's spread it out a little bit. If we make a mistake one place, make it bigger somewhere else. So I'll just add more depth down here to the bottom of this tree. And we better bring it out a little bit so it's not just isolated. Now I could go back in and do layers of, of more bark work and as you can see as the paint gets drier I get more light, light areas. And then another thing I can do right now to give us texture is the wonderful thing I just showed you on the last demo where I can put some salt in. So it's getting kind of dry. So I can put some nice salt in here and it'll give it a little bit more of a textured effect yet. 